for the war cry. War cry. This one for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Levi. Can't forget about the bros in the North Tribe. North Enough tribes. said that we serving to the Most High. Most and it's no lie, no lie. on the Most High. Most we high. teach the laws in this, earth. in this earth. The Lord touched my mouth, He said, Use His words. He made me a prophet from birth. From birth. This work, it ain't for the weak. Nah. This earth, it ain't for me. Uh -huh. This war ain't carnal but spiritual. For the battle here is not fleshly, not fleshly. but the flesh weak. Flesh so I press so feet on the laws of God, so don't test don't me. Test and when me. it's time for war, the bro sounds the horn. I'm like a beast unleashed. You can't tame me. You preachers like cowards. cowards. You ain't rightly dividing the word of truth. You worship the creature instead the creator. Your hour is coming to mutilate you. Oh, true. You washed and you dipped in the blood of the lamb. Gee, golly, goddamn, I don't understand. If pastor's right, man, then where is the man who stands in the midst of seven golden lamps? Ain't no time to dance, we pull up our pants. We marry not now, but surely it's near. He who wants wisdom, then please give it near. Put on from the fear. Put on from the fear. The whole armor of God is what we need to wear. All of the lights like a chandelier. Our people, when they got nice things, they feel like they good. So they don't need the most high. They only call on them when they need them. So in your security. Thou shalt be destroyed. He will destroy you. Because you think everything is good, but the most high will destroy you because you know you need to repent, get with your brothers, so you can make haste. Right? Give me Baruch 401. Bring it up. The book of Baruch, Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. The book of Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the what? The commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. It endureth for what? Forever. So guess what? When you got these people telling you they ain't got to keep God's laws, and they trying to convince you that, they're coming for your soul. They trying to get you killed, brother. You understand how important this is as keeping God's laws? You want to know why we went into slavery? Get that. Get that. Get that. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Meaning, if we don't listen to do what our Father told us to do in this Bible, to observe, to do all his commandments, to do, like, you, you, got, you got parents, right? So when they tell you to do something, if you don't do it, there's going to be consequences, correct? It's the same with the Most High. So we're going to read some of these consequences because we've been a rebellious people. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Little sis, is, is curses a good or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? Okay, let me ask you a question. How did our ancestors get to America? Come here, I can't hear you. They was taken from their land. How did we get here, though? Did we fly over here? How? Cruise ship? Slave ship? How we get here? Slave ship. Do you believe that's in the Bible? No. Let's bring it out to this system. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Most High God said that he was going to bring the children of Israel into slavery again because Egypt means bondage okay, with ships this time. Okay, you see the movie with the Moses and the Red Sea? That was the Israelites. Moses let my people go. So he said he's going to bring them back into Egypt. Let's get it. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So you see how Egypt means bondage, which means what, slavery? Okay, so let's read it again. And we're gonna substitute the word Egypt with slavery. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into bondage again with ships. So we got here on slave ships, correct? You said it earlier, right? Watch what's gonna to happen to us when we get over here. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland no more, which is Jerusalem. We're not from Africa, and we're not Africans. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You'll be sold to your friends. Your enemies. Your friends. Your enemies. The people that sold us and put us on the slave ship are our enemies. It's very clear. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man was going to ever be able to redeem the children of Israel out of these different captivities that we've been in. 
but to save the, the black Messiah, Christ. That's the only man that's going to be able to save us. That's right. So right. now, reading that little bit, do you take the Bible serious? Do you know what you need to know for your repentance, for, for to get salvation? Got it? That's what we out here to teach our people. We're teaching our people the same thing that Christ taught. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what, what do women wear today that men got on? Because this is a part of re repentance. What you say, sis? See, little sister said jeans, all praises. So what must you do to repent? There you go. Because your foremothers never wore jeans. They all had dresses on. Right. They all wore dresses. Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if you saw us up here in dresses teaching, wouldn't you think that's crazy? Would you come to us and seek knowledge from brothers with dresses on? Right. So there's a proper order to things because if you when you get older one day, Lord's will, and you have a righteous marriage, you wouldn't want to dress your little boy up in, dr in dresses and stuff because it's going to put what? A woman's spirit on him. That's why a lot of our sisters got strong personalities because they're walking mad, around in a manly's robe with them pants on. So you must repent. You must change for that. Right. With the fringes. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see the young people be able to come up here and be humble and, and get straight to the point with scriptures. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. This whole Bible is speaking to the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. All these brothers around here, if you look, they all got fringes on, right? And that's how we know the Native American Indians are your people as well. Because still to this day, they wear these fringes. Okay? Throughout their generation. So as long as we reproduce it, we must wear these things. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Like I was telling the brother earlier, when we about to go and sin, you will look at the fringes and know not to do that. Do you know what sin is? What's sin? Well, this is not a religious book. Give me Psalm 78 and 5. Get up. It's not a religious book, sis. You got it? 78 and 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. These people are the son. And appointed a law in Israel. Does it say he gave us religion or he gave us a law? So what must we do? Keep his what? His laws. It's that simple. Religion is man-made. Religion is what they taught us while we were slaves. Because we couldn't read or write. You understand that? Which he commanded our fathers that they should make that they should make them known to their children. One more question. Do you think the kingdom of heaven is for everyone? Huh? What's your proof? Let me give you some. Give me uh, Revelation 21. The okay. book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And had a wall great and high. So they're describing the kingdom of heaven. He said a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. So we got 12 gates. And, and and at the 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels. The bodyguards. So if you ain't supposed to get in, you're not getting in. And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So that's the kingdom of heaven. That's who it's for. It's for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. What, 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 which, which image would you say, if you was just to walk up here, would be Christ to you? The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal something. So they're about to reveal to you what Christ looks like. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white <coughs> like wool. Strike one against this, this imposter right here. Because he's dead on showing that no white woolly head. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ got red eyes because the scripture says he liked to drink wine. Okay, he wasn't no alcoholic, but he liked to sip on the wine. 
and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So you understand, if you burn something in a furnace, it's real dark. So that's the greatest man that ever walked this earth, and he looks like you. Right. He's that's from right. your people. That's very powerful. Do you believe that, sis? All praise. You got the fly, the contact information. Reach out to us. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.